Do you actually need serious hi-fi switches and can you get away without compromises to sound quality in just using your existing router or extender? Well, that's what I'm finding out in this video in relation to my system and keeping it nice and short. So the Bon N8 Pro is a gigabit network switch in a pretty traditional peripheral looking ply case and it's got eight Ethernet ports on the back. You can use any one as an input. I just went for the first socket for reasons of keeping it simple. And then obviously the other sockets as you fancy as outputs to your streaming sources or other devices. So this unit comes in two models. You can get one with a world clock 10 megahertz connection so you can use an additional outboard clock to do timing duties or the model without the world clock connection in which case you're going to be using the internal clock in the, this device a tcxo clock temperature controlled crystal oscillator to time the packets of data over the network i've got the one without the world clock option and this is quite a pricey switch. I think in the UK, and don't quote me on this, they're charging £1,100. If you buy it in the US, $1,500. And also, if you buy this with the matching F2 Forester power supply, you can get it as a package for $2,200. <laughs> So if you use the IEC input that I showed in the VT, you benefit from what Silent Angel say is their radar grade power module internally, which has a DC to DC converter and a low rippled LDO regulator circuit. Basically, you get 28 millivolts coming out the back of the output as opposed to what they say some switches use, which is four or five times higher than that. In other words, low power, low noise. So as I showed, you can connect it up with the IEC input or this little barrel type 12 volt DC input. You can obviously have the LED lights on at the back to check port connectivity or just use the LED switch and turn them off. I'm not gonna say, you know, that you're gonna notice the sound quality difference. I mean, how many times have we turned lights off or displays off and heard absolutely no difference whatsoever? But to be honest, it's more there to turn off those annoying lights, those flickering lights you get when your rear of your component reflects against the wall and is really, really annoying. So I got sent these little 50 centimeter coupling cables are pretty well made. I think you get them as optional extras on their website. Also in the box, you get these little plastic feet that you have to stick on the bottom of the case. Case doesn't come with pre-added feet. Also, you get a nice category seven ethernet cable in the box with gold plated terminals, which match the plated terminals, gold plated terminals on the unit itself. This Forrester F2 power supply is a dual voltage linear PSU with 12 volt and 5 volt outputs, 12 volt, 3 amp and 1 amp, 
and five volts, one amp and two amps. And also you get two five volt USB outputs to power sources or other components. So Silent Angel say that the Forester F2 uses symmetrical circuits for the 5 volt and 12 volt sides using a toroidal transformer and MOSFET, which in lay terms is a type of transistor that lets power through the circuit, but also it has an EMI absorber on the main board to protect from noise as well. This case is really nice and sturdy and weighty in this galvanized steel finish that it uses. It's not like some of these cheaper power supplies. Also, nice aluminium feet on the bottom and you'll notice little LED lights on the front panel which designate the outputs that are in use. Before you use it, remember to flip that voltage selector switch at the back for the correct voltage where you are. I don't think I'm making any great revelation by saying that you need to put this duo in a great hi-fi system to get the full benefit out of it. You're not gonna be able to use it in a few grand hi-fi system and with something like a Blue Sound Node streamer to actually hear the difference. In my experience, and I think it's probably common sense to say this, things like power supplies, network switches, good cabling, just get the benefit out of the system for what's already there. When you put this switch and power supply in my system, there is a sense of a fuller, richer, more bassy sound, nice and tight and dynamic and forward bass as well. It's an okay change, if not amazing, but there is, I think, gonna be an element with some people with this particular type of product that once you take it out, you know, you don't want to. You don't want to go back to how it was before. In fairness to Silent Angel, when I test a very premium DAT that I've got coming, I'm going to comment further again on this duo compared to just using your normal network switches and, and router because I think that using a better DAC, you're going to get more out of it. And that's why I'm going to revisit it if I've got this duo available when I do that DAC review. Investing in this duo might make sense to you, but as always, always home trial before you buy. So science reviews or no science reviews, nobody is letting anybody down. Thanks for watching.